Hello guys, I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. Nice to see you again. Last time I showed you one carburetor truck. It was K3361. That was two driver and without sound system. Today I bring you one same truck. Looks the same, out looking all same. But I got two of these all different painting and color. Uh, this are four driver and got sound system, light system. Also have speed changing to speed. And uh, which I love more, you can control this uh, from this radio to, to control it to go back and go forward and have brake effect. You can change the speed easily. And with the song, I like the real, it's very enjoyable to play it. So I put battery and we will start to see the function. So they got the same function, I put this beside, we will see this one. Let's first just open the cabin. We open this and put the battery on there. Ah, yes, to be right sequence, first start the, the radio. Okay. Then we connect. You see the brake? You hear the brake sound like a real car air brake. Very interesting. So I will increase the volume. You can hear more clearly. Let's hear. This is the brake. So you can control speed by this one. We will start the engine. Engine start. Let go on. Salute. <laughs> okay. We will. See this one? When I go to left side, it is going back. So always we speed up to start, always push forward, it will start. And to break, it will slow down. I break too much, it stopped. Then we can change to. I need to fall back to stop it. You see that you hear the air break. Now you can change to. Now you see the sound, the, the warning sound is gone. Now going forward, we will start. Go forward. And we break a little. It's no speed. To break more, it will almost stop and stop. Break, stop. Okay, we will try again to go a little bit left. I will come to, to very low speed. Okay, now go back. We will start. I will break. Okay, now slow down. I will break a little more. Very slow, you see. Still moving. Okay, break, stop. We will go forward. We turn a little. Slow down. Go right, go left. Okay, stop. Very interesting. Okay, we will move back and turn it a little. Go back. Turn Okay, then I will slow down a little. Too much. Too much break. Let's start with the middle. With the break. Now very slowly. Also could be very fast if you push it a lot. Now it's at low speed gear, also can be changed to high speed gear. Okay, I will move back a little to turn around to you and to show you a little bit more functions. Okay, so 
This bucket is controlled by hydraulic system and lift up. So now I will lift up the bucket. Uh, one thing uh, all of us should know is that this one got no pressure release well. So when you control it at the beginning and at the middle, you can defrost. But at the end, or before it reaches the end, must be slowly. Otherwise, if you push too much, the pump running fast, have high pressure, maybe burst broken the oil hose. So before reach the end, slow down. Now it's fast, going down, slow down, and go down. Yeah, so to be more safe, not burst out of the pipe. Let's lift up. You will see the details of it. And one more from here, you will see this lock. When lift up, it will be open automatically. Now going down, it will be locked. Lock. Let's open it. Okay, it's open. So this door after lift can open automatically and let go of the cargo. Okay. I will lift up, we will see a little bit about the details. Mm -hmm. I will, so I will switch off a little, turn down the volume, so we can hear. Here we got this cylinder here, only for this bucket to lift up and going down. So the, the oil going in is controlled by reverse valve here. So change the direction so to, de to decide to go up or go down. Here the hydraulic oil pump is under there. Later we can see from the bottom, so it's under this still is then is still this plate. Here is, is the pump, here is the motor, and here reverse valve. Okay, here we see from here the oil tank, top return line, bottom got the suction line. Okay, let's see, go to the rear side, you will see the servo. This servo is for the, the shaft as the axle differential lock, so we got two wires here. It's for drive, so two axles all have power. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we got these two connection bars here to keep balance of the bucket. And uh, this side, what's more, we have urine box. Another, this one, as we said, have the reverse valve. Here we got the I double tires, this double hub for the rear and it is alloy, this hub we got the mud guard metal and the, we, below the rear, this one is so the bumper and we got the light here, it's all metal so let's see this side, what we got here Got this metal box and this one, spare one for upgrades. Can put some electronic wires inside. We have these two for for stopping the car to put be, behind the, the wheel these tires, so can stop the car go back or go forward. And uh, let's see. The cabin, we got a little bit here. On the cabin, it's pretty much the same with the key 3361. This key 3362, they, they are brothers, only this one got more functions. So here we got the receiver here. And inside the cabin, behind this, at the rear part, we stick one speaker here. And we got another one, the, this receiver, we got it for the light sound system. And the, the light system, the board is under here. We will put back this battery and we will see the chassis.
Lock it. Okay, let's turn around. Be careful not to, to press the mirror. Okay. So as we can see, this both axles are dual drive, got power on. So the rear one is all metal, dark cast metal, and got this differential lock here. The the front one also same material and differential lock. So I will switch it so you can see. It's locked now. Also you can see if it's unlocked. So also for the rear one, you can see from here, locked, unlocked. And we will start it to show you a little bit more. Let's let's let it go forward. Okay, let's start. Now it's differential. So you see. So I will control the speed, go more fast, more fast, more fast, and I will brake to reduce a little bit. This is the brake. I will brake a little more. And now going very slowly. I will brake a little more to see. Oh, already stop. Okay. Stop it, you, you hear the air break. Let's go rear side, go, go backwards. Now it's backwards, start. Speed up, break, slow down. Let's break more, slow down. Okay, stop. Okay, so. I will lock the differential lock. Let's go forward only a little. Then we will stop it. It's locked now. Okay, lock, stop it. Okay, differential unlocked. Let's see a little bit more here. So we got uh, the drive shaft, CVD drive shaft, and the cutting joint. And in the middle, we got this transfer case to transfer power go forward and go up, go to rear side. The motor here connecting to this one transmission gearbox, and the motor is blocked. Cannot see here. And under this part, from here you will see this servo is controlling the speed gear. This servo can change the. Speed gear to low speed or high speed. Now it is at low speed. Okay, we missed one of uh, this servo from bottom. We also can see it is for the differential lock. And at at front, we got another servo at the front is for the steering. It is here. Okay, so here we see the suspension. It is here connected. You can compress. Okay. Let's put it back. So go down. Go forward. Speed up. Slow down. Voice up, break, stop, go back, start, turning, allow this break, slow down, stop, go forward, slowly, break, stop it. This is the carbonate K3362. It is very beautiful, and uh, this operation is a little bit different, and uh, but it's very enjoyable to play with this one. I love it a lot. It's not that simple as other radio, only to push, go forward, and penny. This one you can change the gears and brake like a real car. 
It's like uh, when you're driving an automatic car or manual controlled car, it's different uh, to enjoy. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. We will see each other again next time. Bye-bye.